is Spear Tech Co. Smart Tips and Tricks, Segment 3. In this segment, we will be discussing five different programs that I use in my daily life and two programs that help my computer feel more customized. Well, let's get started. My first software that I will be using today is CPU-Z. Now, I'll be putting links to all these softwares in the top right description. Now, CPU-Z is software that you can get at cupidcupid.com and you look up CPU-Z and it should be there and download it. Then, when you download, you'll get a folder on your desktop like this. It says CPU-Z. Click on that. Go to the green and silver box. Wait a couple seconds for it to load. And you can see it comes up, and this tells you everything about the inside of your computer. What's under the hood. Now, CPU, it tells you the name of the CPU, the code name, the package, the voltage, how much voltage, is, how much, that means how much of your power supply it's using. It tells you exactly what kind of process you have, your gigabyte speed, your model number, your core speed, your bus speed, your cache speeds. And it tells you right here about your motherboard. See, I have a gigabyte motherboard. It tells you the model of your motherboard. It tells you what chip processor is in this, the Intel P45. It tells you what kind of processor it has on the South Bridge, another Intel processor. And it tells you about your BIOS, what brand of BIOS you have in there, what is the version of your BIOS, and what date it was updated. Also, it tells you what kind of graphic you're using. It says I'm using it a graphic card that uses a PCI Express light, which is correct. Also, this is very good for people who have older computers because you can see, if you want to upgrade it, what kind of memory you have in there so you don't have to go and take it out, take off the cover and find the memory. See here, I'm using DDR2 memory. Some older computers use DDR. As you can see, I have 4 gigabytes here, 496. It tells me the frequency, how much with the clock speed of the memory is cycle time now in this SPD memory slot selection it tells you what type of memory you have in each slot you see in slot 1 I have DDR2 PC2 6400 memory uh, 2 gigabytes in slot 1 it tells you what brand of memory is Corsair the part number the frequency and the voltage you see four slots here it, it, it um, depends on how many slots your motherboard has, it could have 2, 3, 4, 6, so it says in the, you switch to 2, you see I have another 2 gigabytes, same kind of memory, Corsair, same voltage, and you see if you have none in the slot, it'll say empty. And that's about this with the software. Now, the next software we'll be using is a very fun software, I use it to make ringtones for my phone, and it's called Audioticity. Now, I'll be posting a link, it's at um, sourceforge.com. After you install it, you'll get an icon like this. Click on that. I'll show you a quick demonstration. It comes up to this. You can, you can load any file by going to open. Let's see for, say you want to listen to some Little Wayne. You push play, and you can see it's the song. <laughs> second version of that song. First thing you would do is take the song, pick what, what part of the song you would like. See, I want, I think I want about this much of the song. Take that part of the song, go to edit, copy, new song, paste, you can see the song, it's a little bit more, it was 28 seconds, but it's still okay. And you can do this with any song you want, any mp3 song, any kind of audio file. And that's about this with this software. I think this software is about the best audio ripping software on the market today that's actually free. So you might want to pick that up. Now, our next software I'll be discussing is a customizable software called Object Dock, which you can see right here. 
See, it behaves just like Mac software. It kind of like maximizes the icon as you pass by it. Now, there's also Rocket Dock, but I found that Rocket Dock really slows down your startup time. And Apple Track is just so tiny of a program that it doesn't react like that. So it's a very good program. Uh, once you install it, I'll leave the link in the description too. You'll get this empty. It'll look about these three icons, your desktop settings and your recycling bin. What you do is you when you get it, you go to desktop settings. You can, what language you want the desktop to be in, how you want the icons to react, what position you want the dock to be in. If you want to change the color, you see, to this something like that, or something like that. You can change the behavior if you want them to bounce, so you want not to be an arrow. As you can see right here, if I click this and turn it off, you see I have it has to have an arrow under there. And it's a very good program. You can buy the premium version for like twenty dollars, but the free version's just as good. And I really think that helps add some customizability to your desktop. Now, another program like to discuss is a program that you can use to extract files from your dot .var, your dot .zip, and your dot .bind, and all your files that have been compressed. Now, this file, this program is called iZark. iZark, you probably may have heard of it. It's a program, free program, one of the best extracting programs on the internet. And the only thing you have to do is, if you have the file, the, the raw file, and it needs to be uncompressed, then you probably see an iZark icon on it. You just click on that, it'll bring you to iZark, you press extract right here, and it'll extract it and put the put that the extracted file right next to the file. Right next to the file that's compressed. And it's a very easy program. You can use this for movies that you downloaded from the internet and the dot raw files. Take about a couple minutes to a couple seconds actually. And it's a very good program. You can also use 7-Zip and all these other programs, but I really think that this program is a lot better because it works with more formats. And that's about that for this program. Now, my last program I'll be discussing is, as you can see on my desktop, it kind of looks like the Alienware theme. This is what the program I'll be discussing next is called Alienware Geist. Now, Alienware Geist is a program that you can customize your whole desktop to. Now, you can see that the alien icon it looks like I have this here, but I actually don't. I have XP professional, so it's really nice. It shows you, it gives you a bar up here that you can put icons on. You do if you don't want object dock, you can put icons up here. You see, I don't really like it there. And if I delete it, it makes a fire. So you have your CPU, how much your CPU your computer is using, how much hard space you have left, how much of the RAM you're using. You have a my computer icon. You have a fast Google search. You have a clock, and you have Alienware support and down here you have a really cool start bar here you have a cool light up neon thing over here and all you see all the buttons are changed in gray and the key logo and it's really it's really nice it really looks like it's been customized very nice and to set all this up you would when you have to install the program from alienware.com you have a folder that says alien guys go to this software and you can see you could change it to anything you want. I have Exomorph. On this one, you could change it to Invader, which is silver, red, more of a white, and gray. And if you don't like any of those, you can just change it back. But in the meantime, too, and you could change the desktop. You don't have to keep. See, I don't. I don't keep the desktop. The blue desktop. I made a black one. And you could upgrade the software to the premium version that gives you more icons, and you could download other icons from the website. I really think the free version is enough for now. And that's about it for this session. Thank you very much for watching and more videos to come.